Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the mysteries and wonders of ancient civilizations. Today, we take a closer look at ancient India, a land with a rich cultural heritage and a unique system of justice. Join us as we explore 20 spine-chilling punishments from this bygone era. Like many ancient civilizations, ancient India had its own set of laws and punishments for various offenses. These punishments, however, may be considered spine-chilling or severe by modern standards. It's important to note that these punishments were a product of their time and may not align with contemporary values or legal systems. Let's begin with Danda, a common form of punishment involving physical infliction of pain or harm. Offenders would face caning, whipping, or beatings with sticks, with the severity varying based on the gravity of the offense. But nothing compares to Shula Pravesha, a brutal punishment that involved impaling the offender with a stake or spear. This slow and agonizing death was reserved for extreme crimes like treason, rebellion, or assassination attempts. Another punishment, Kalapani, meaning Blackwater, condemned offenders to life imprisonment. Isolated in remote and desolate prisons, these individuals spent the rest of their lives in solitude. For serious crimes, ancient India employed cut hair vagrin, a punishment that involved disfigurement. Offenders would have their nose, ears, or limbs amputated, aiming to serve as a deterrent to others. In cases of theft or severe crimes, the punishment of hath apratishta involved amputating one or both hands, leaving the offender permanently disabled. Jalap Rodin, a form of capital punishment, involved tying up the offender and drowning them in a river or water body resulting in death by suffocation. Agni Astra, a gruesome execution method, involved tying the offender to a stake and setting them on fire. The aim was to create fear and deterrence within society. Offenders subjected to garb hasthapan faced confinement in a closed, cramped and dark space, enduring psychological and physical distress. Dhritarashtra, the punishment of blinding, involved gouging out the offender's eyes, causing permanent blindness. Kangana Vidi entailed tying the offender to a pole and ruthlessly flogging them with sticks or whips, inflicting intense pain and suffering. Via Grapasha, an utterly horrifying punishment, saw criminals tied to a tree, while trained animals like tigers were set upon them, causing grievous injuries or even death. Vrukshadanda involved tying the offender to a tree and beating them severely, with sticks or whips, causing excruciating pain and physical harm. Gouda, or exile, meant banishing the offender from the community or kingdom, forcing them to live in isolation and deprivation. Rutubojana, a deadly punishment, involved serving the offender poisonous food, resulting in their untimely demise. New rapid hippercaine to publicly humiliate the offender, parading them through the streets to shame and deter others from committing similar crimes. Pashubali involved tying the criminal to a stake and sacrificing them in a ritualistic manner, simulating the process of animal sacrifice. Anguli Pravesha caused intense pain and injury by inserting sharp objects or hot iron rods into the offender's fingers. Dog Kriya involved setting the offender on fire, resulting in a gruesome and agonizing death by burning. Vedar Ani subjected the offender to tormenting experiences replicating the concept of hell as a form of punishment. Finally, Shulastamba involved tying the criminal to a stake and piercing them with a sharp stake, causing a slow and excruciating death through impalement. While these punishments may seem unimaginable by today's standards, it's crucial to remember that they were a reflection of their time. By exploring these ancient practices, we gain a deeper understanding of the complexities of justice throughout history. If you found this video intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay curious.